Okay. The following takes place between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. at the district called the friend of lobby number one. <laughs> oh god, it's, it's Well, I guess this is it. Oh, gotta get used to Maya, because you'll be seeing a lot of her. Uh, a lot of her? Yeah. Like one, way or, <laughs> one way or another, <laughs> this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! Ugh, this guy. Prosecutor. More like... What would be the opposite of edge? Like side or grain? Less grain? Worthless? It's okay, just, just don't even... <laughs> don't, don't even try? Don't even try? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Don't even try? Okay. I receive a call from the chief oh, prosecutor. Oh no. That, that's not <clears throat> going to be his voice. I receive a call. Why? Why? You have a thing for Edgeworth? Edgeworth is awesome. Edgeworth's like, a, I don't know, another. He's the best. Okay. I was told that whatever Mr. Wise says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does why have the judge on spoken to you? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? Hmm. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? <laughs> I, I was going to say one man question his God. <laughs> why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Yeah, well... Question. So, everybody knows that Maya was before Phoenix Wright. How can they accuse him of being there if he wasn't there? Oh, stupid game. Anyway, let's continue. The innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. Ah, there is a way to do it. It's called evidence. Exactly, it's called evidence. All I can hope to do is is get every defendant declared guilty. Why is this guy always so hell-bent to like make everybody look guilty? Well, he's been under false teachings for most of his life. Okay, so that, that made the chief, the, the, the chief prosecutor. Hmm. Damn that cheese prosecutor. Cheese prosecutor. It, it's worse. You have changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Wait, what? Well, Core will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? What the hell was that? What the hell was that in her mouth? In her mouth? Yeah. I'll show you in the she recording. She probably just did like a gasp, like a. Yeah, but it's like, like an it, O face. Yeah, but it was like, like super ooh. white. White? It, it looked like a tongue out, but. Or maybe like uh, they forgot to draw or color it. I'll oh. show you in the recording. Oh, okay. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going ham. Oh, there we go. The following takes place between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. at the district court courtroom number one. <laughs> <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh God, <laughs> that sounds more like Mr. Winston Ryan, Payne. Are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. <laughs> would you Would you believe a lawyer with a double voice? No. No. Okay, fine. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Sure. 
What is this the like? Prosecution may call its witness. Shine this flag up. Mr. Wayne. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Esward why his witness didn't testify before? It's like it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise any objections about this, I suppose me. Raise an objection. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Huh. Hmm. I'm very, I'm ever so sorry. Mr. Wise is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss Maya's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Wow, this guy's dirty. That's a weak dirty. explanation. This guy's dirty. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great, he gets to show off. Uh, I got nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh, no, no weird noises. <laughs> Please, state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Just state oh, your God. name. What the hell? Uh, your name? Yes, this is what I said. Oh, dear. Do my locutions confuse you? Name. Oh, I like that. Edgeworth is not taking any of these. Edgeworth doesn't take any shit. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Blanco Nino. White. <laughs> okay. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the big team is Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Hmm. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Uh-huh. Why, why tell you what? You already know. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. Oh, <coughs> Here we go. You don't have to do it, my dear. It gets really stressed on the voice. Can I have like a gambusha? Thank you. We have like three voices already, so at least give me one. <sighs> okay, fine. You know what? I, I'll I'll split the voices. With Unless you. my judge voice is annoying, then. No, I'll split the voices with you. You do <laughs> read. I mean, red and judge. I'll do edge words and and phoenix. <laughs> is that a good? Is is that a fair assessment? Okay. If I can't if I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Okay. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Is this the end? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my bling. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. I forgot Maya was there. Uh, why Maya's there? She's her cheerleader. I thought she was... Nah, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's go for the witness testimony. Let me just uh, flex a little bit. Ugh, because this is going to be important, I guess. Flex those defense attorney muscles. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. Okay, before we continue. Uh, do, do we know it's like 9 o'clock or no? I don't remember. Okay, fuck. Okay. I was quietly perusifying air that's reading to you some papers by the window. Okay. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. 
Then it was all over. This guy likes to use big words. Hmm. Wait, so... Before we continue with this, I know the judge is going to say something stupid. <laughs> like, it makes no sense because this completely contradicts with the previous testimony. Of course it does. Because Miss May was going around saying she saw a girl a, that a girl. looked like Maya. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Or at least a girl silhouette. And then didn't she lie as well? She was the only one looking and she was the one who called the cops? Yes. Okay. Whatever. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Wow. Already? Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Question. I know well. I probably am getting ahead of myself, but is the, is the judge as well in the pocket, or the judge is just a fool that he doesn't need to be in anybody's pocket? Honestly, don't remember. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, cross-examination. Okay, Let's press is to, to ask him. Yes. And present is just to look at your evidence, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see for a second here. Is there anything that will say... Victim such an attack. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's nothing here. The only thing that I can... The only thing that I can press him is on the testimony that he saw somebody, but I feel like that that will be too weak. Hmm. Because, I mean, the, the, the only reason that I will contradict that is because already Miss Maya gave the, uh, the statement that she saw Mia, sorry, Maya. Mm -hmm. So, Boops Bunny, she said that she saw Maya. And then on top of that, uh, Phoenix Wright came after. Okay, so that's the only thing that I can press the guy. At once, she too was surprised, of course. The big team, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, terrible impact. So I feel like two, two statements that I can challenge him is either this one. Or the one that he saw me. Mm. Those are the only two statements that I have a feeling that I can press him. Okay. Because Maya, that's the only way that I can bring Maya's testimony, by the way. She already testified that she saw X, Y, Z. All right. So I'm going to go with this one here. I call Miss Wait. You used to say, I mean, uh, you. Maya. So let's, let's press on this thing. Hold it. Thank you. What was Miss May doing at the time? She yeah. had... Oh. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she has been taping the face of his phone? Objection. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fay woman. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho oh, ho, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Oh, this guy's dirty. Please continue. Okay, so... Let's go back to the... Okay, so we didn't lose any health, so that's good. Um, no, you don't lose health for pressing. Oh, no? Okay. So Only if you present the wrong evidence. Okay, so I'm going to press on this one here. Or if you make a wrong choice when it's like clearly showing you that you might lose health. Mm. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's it? Ah, oh, Phoenix. <sighs> Why you just say directly conflicts with Miss Faye's testimony? Miss Miss May, sorry, Miss May. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Oh God. Counting both eyes, 
40. 40? Don't add them together. <laughs> I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, who says Josh on anyway? Oh, sorry. And why you... What did you do then? I... Oh, you, I don't have to read this over okay. again. <laughs> mm. Hmm, I feel like I probably missed something. Because I need to present something in the statement, right? Hmm. I'm not sure, like, I don't remember exactly when you have to press or, you know, present something. So let's go here. At 9 a.m. 9 p.m. How do you know what time it was? Because I'm always absolutely Positively perfect, you know? Wow, this guy is like... No, no, no. You are not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Look at the billboard's eye. He is enjoying the view. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. Uh, let's press it a little bit further. True, the billboard who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. <laughs> this is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need X-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? Oh, okay, so I guess this is over. Okay, this is the beginning. Reading some papers by the window. So let's just press on the guy. By window, do you mean the one directly across from Faye and Colo offices? Correct. That is the only window you see. Well, it could be a window in the bathroom, but... And there you were, reading papers. Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do. Mm, was Miss May? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's nothing here. I'm probably missing something that I'm forgetting. Glass chart. Maybe with a bedlam. Maybe if I present this like the wire tapping on Miss May. Maybe we could get an angle. Okay, let me. Presenting that would do what? Maybe it will push him to reveal why why Miss May was wiretapping Miss Faye. But what statement does it contradict? Nothing. None of it. So okay, so the presenting thing has to contradict the statement, correct? Yes, it's okay. pretty much where you see them okay. saying something that doesn't uh, coincide with your evidence. Hmm. what happened when, when you don't play for a while. What was Miss May doing at the oh, I think I feel I think like... we did this one already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did this already. Okay. Okay. Impaction. Then it was all over. I feel like, uh... What happened? Anyway, I better find a weakness in, in there. Hmm. Hmm. Some creatures. I heard a bit of them. Um, hmm. 
Maybe I'll go for the bedlam thing. For the impaction. The impaction? Finally, there was a terrible impaction and it was all over. Let's go here. Uh, impaction? Do you mean just impact? Ridiculosity. I think you need to brush out of your language skills. A mistaken thought, perhaps. I better leave the whole language thing alone. Did I wish press this guy? Oh, okay, so I'm pretty much I'm running out of a uh, thing to question him about. I mean, I might know what the thing is, but I don't want to tell you. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. Well, you mean the actual statement to press or the actual proof to present? You might have to present something. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe... Okay, let me see what I have here. Uh, autopsy, blow, holes. Dodge and attack and mm. Okay, let's go with this one. Let me see if I can if me as this one. Your Honor? Oh, oh but I was like on the wrong statement. Which statement are you gonna present that on? Oh can I go back? Nope. Okay. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Roy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to the thing. Oops, that didn't go as well. So pretty much, I'm trying to... So the statement was like... Let me let me go back to the thing here. So the statement was uh, Miss, Miss Boop's money. The victim dodged an attack then ran to the right, but she was cut and stroke. And I want to. He's, he's saying that he saw. Uh, what was it? The victim. She ran away, but you gave chase. Hmm, that doesn't contradict, right? It does not contradict. It does not contradict. Finally, there was an impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. Then there was an infection. An infection of what? Clock in the form of statue, the clock gear had been removed. Made by Larry Butts. There was an infection, so maybe. So maybe the guy did not see the impaction because it's like this this is the view from mm -hmm. from the thing mm -hmm. so how would he know that there was an impaction but then he said he heard something right mm. but there was a terrible impaction so let me present this as a way of saying how how would he know the impaction your honor that statement contradicts the evidence it does? I don't see any contradiction. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. Uh, okay, whoops, that didn't go well. When was the last time he saved? Should I save here? Because it's time to stop recording? No, I mean, in case you die, you don't want to have to redo a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Uh, but you know what? You I'm can gonna, save at any I'm point. I'm gonna save here. Whatever. It was on the day trial, like when before the trial started. I think I was talking to mm. Maya. I want to save here. Plus, I think it should be so 58, 58. Oh, wait. I think it should be time to like stop recording now. Okay. I think so. Okay. Well, see you in the next episode. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>